production of production of titanus toxoid clostridium genus is characterized as gram positive endosporophorbin rod shaped bacteria and they are anaerobic in nature they are responsible for several dreaded infections in human beings such as clostridium titani causes titanus clostridium botulinum causes botulism clostridium perfringens causes gas gangrene titanus is one of the such fatal bacterial human disease the symptoms Uh, occurs as a result of the release of enormous potent neurotoxin produced by clostridium titani secreted by the uh, organism whose natural habitat is soil dust and intestinal tracts of various animals the prevention methods for uh, titanus disease are through active and passive immunization vaccines are available for active and passive immunization such as for active it is toxoid and for passive immunization remensira a trivalent vaccine is available called as dpt that stands for diphtheria pertussis tetanus so this is a trivalent vaccine responsible for prevention of these three diseases this tetanus toxoid is generated from exotoxin called as titanospasmin which is produced by the pathogen clostridium titani the method of production the production method of this vaccine is an anaerobic submerged fermentation process the first step is inoculum development in which the lifelike culture of clostridium titani is revived in sterile fluid thioglycolic medium and incubated at 35 degrees celsius for 48 hours further the seed bottles are prepared in sterile seed medium called as modified muller and miller medium that contains sugar like glucose uh, amino acids and uh, several different types of vitamins the ph of the medium is 7.2 to 7.8 it is incubated again for 18 to 24 hours at 35 degrees celsius and in the subsequent stages the subculturing of uh, this organism is done so as to obtain final inocul- inoculums which are suitable for the inoculation of production tank the second step is fermentation the production medium used during fermentation is modified muller and miller medium it is inoculated from an inoculation port with seed culture in a fermenter incubation continues for 7 days at 35 degrees celsius under anaerobic conditions at the end of incubation period the vibrations are allowed to be generated inside the fermenter by an equipment or rod called as vibrometer this vibrations are very essential for the separation of exotoxin from the bacterial cells exotoxin that is titanospasmin is an uh, is liberated outside the cell but still sometimes it may remain bound to the outermost structure of cell therefore vibrations are introduced in order to separate this liberate this exotoxin in fermentation broth this fermentation cannot be considered to be performed initially under anaerobic circumstances but the highly reducing properties of the medium are sufficient to provide good growth and toxin production the third step that is after the fermentation is over recovery is performed by the first step of filtration so harvesting of toxin after 7 days of incubation uh, it's uh, it is followed by separation of cell debris by filtration system through 0.2 micrometer filter membranes then the antigenic content in this preparation is determined by a method called as 
LF method, which is a serological test. So toxins are determined with the help of standard antitoxins, that means antibodies. LF stands for lines flocculation or limit of flocculation. In brief, the toxin assay is like this. It is an immunological precipitation test that involves a reaction between soluble antigen that is toxin and antibodies that is antitoxin which is used for the determination of antigenic content and it is expressed as LF per ml that is Lyme's flocculation per ml so this is will this will be the concentration of that toxin determined by using standard antibody in this test one ml of aliquot of supernatants uh, is taken in flocculation tube and it is mixed with a standard tetanus antitoxin that is antibodies uh, with variable here uh, here they use variable concentrations of uh, antibodies with fixed concentration of the test toxin sample after incubation at a 50 degree celsius in water bath all these tubes are observed continuously for the presence of flocculation the tube with the fastest flocculation is the indicator tube and which is selected so the concentration of toxin uh, uh, present in that fastest flocculated tube uh, will be equivalent to the concentration of that antibody in the next step preparation of tetanus toxoid is done yeah, here in formalin treatment is given formalin which is 40 percent formaldehyde solution it is mixed with uh, crude toxin preparation so that the final concentration of formalin uh, will be 0.5 percent volume by volume at pH 7.5 this step is for the inactivation of toxin that means conversion of toxin to its inactive form called as toxoid so this treatment takes approximately three days the ph is adjusted to 7.6 with sterile uh, 10 percent sodium carbonate solution so sodium carbonate will be used used as a neutralizing uh, agent or for formalin uh, then there is incubation period at uh, 36 degrees celsius for at least 28 to 42 days then while these tests are performed there are several in process tests which are required to be carried out uh, that is for example before formal in treatment the toxin sample shall be sent to quality control department for in process tests that includes sterility test uh, determination of LF content, then determination of MLD that is minimum lethal dose, the maximum toxin value, etc. And next step is specific toxicity test, in which whatever the toxicity which is formed, uh, whether it is suitable for the inoculation in humans or uh, animal body, that is tested by using specific toxicity test. So first it is carried out on experimental animals. So after 28 to 40 days of incubation, storage of bulk toxicity is done in cold room. And then further testings are carried out on experimental animals like guinea pigs. So this preparation is inoculated uh, into the pigs and these pigs are kept under observation for the development of any uh, minor to lethal symptoms like uh, development of fever irritation etc after this if the preparation under test passes the toxicity test the toxoid is ready for further purification for further purification the first way of purification is ultra filtration so ultra filtration will remove the impurities and it will purify the preparation on the basis of its molecular weight 
so this is one of the method of concentration this concentrated toxoid is in the precipitated with the use of ammonium sulfate and this preparation is then stored at 2 to 8 degrees celsius still for the use second way of purification is treatment with uh, adsorbents it is called as adsorbed toxoid so uh, this preparation has an advantage of having superior immunogenicity so here is there is use of adjuvants such as aluminum phosphate or there is use of aluminum hydroxide so this type of uh, preparation will be called as APT that is alum precipitate toxide sometimes there may be use of calcium phosphate 